Hey everybody, Johnny Cage here. Welcome you back to another game review. This time we're taking a look at Turmoil, developed by Gamios and published by Playdigis. Released on November 2nd, 2016 for multiple platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, which is the version I'll be playing. In Turmoil, you will play as a 19th century entrepreneur, setting your sights on striking it big by prospecting land to dig up and sell as much oil as possible in a set amount of time, upgrading your equipment along the way, and having to deal with competitors out for their own share of black gold. Starting up the game will prompt you with your choice of a single one-off experience, or you can go ahead and begin the campaign to start the game proper. After that, go ahead and choose whichever character suits you best of the four available, each with their own little bio, though your character choice won't have any effect on the gameplay itself. With that decision made, it's time we met the mayor of our nameless town. This gives us our first look at the hub world, which will begin to grow after each level, adding a new building with goods to spend your hard-earned money on. There isn't anything we can do here for the time being, however, so select the wagon to the right to take us to our first plot of land. The basics of the game are simple enough. You'll start a level by selecting a dowser or other equipment that will help you discover what lies beneath the earth, and once you come across some of the Texas tea, plant an oil rig down, along with creating a pipe to the oil itself, and finally buy yourself a horse or two to send them to either the left or right company in order to sell it off. Just be mindful of the price changes for oil, as they fluctuate often and you will want to be sure you're driving the horses to the side of the screen where you can make the most money. After each level you get a rundown of how you did, featuring a summary along with graphs and earning and spending that you did, which can be helpful in determining what you might want to do differently the next time around. When you first start off, these levels are only going to last a few months, but it won't take long until the standard stages last an entire year, and if you feel like you've cleared out all the oil available, you can always choose to end a level early. From this point on, you'll be facing off against the other three prospects as you begin bidding on land for the next level, with a number appearing over previously worked tiles indicating how much oil was available there and giving you an idea of what might be around the surrounding area. Continue your prospecting of the territory, and soon enough you'll have unlocked all the buildings available in the hub town. The factory allows for upgrades to drilling equipment, such as the width of pipes and ability for them to branch off. You can also upgrade the size of your storage here for when you're pumping out oil faster than you can sell it, or hold on to it until the price is right for making the big bucks. The stables let you increase the number of horses you can have, as well as the wagon they carry letting you pick up more oil in a single trip. The workshop offers you tools to better discover where oil is located, making your dowsers quicker and able to track oil more deeply. You can also pick up some moles to sniff it out for you, though the item you're most going to want to invest in is the scanner, which makes finding oil super easy. Seriously, you just let the green circle grow and it can uncover giant pockets of land for you, especially when it's fully upgraded. It's a little on the costly side, but you gotta spend money to make money. Lastly, you have the saloon where you can mingle with visitors, most importantly people from the left and right company, where for a rather small bit of coin you can make it so their buying price will never drop below a certain amount. Regardless of which of these upgrades you want to purchase, just make sure to keep $2,000 on hand as you will need that to start each level. And that covers the basics. From here you'll continue buying up territory, moving to different biomes, and eventually use your money to buy the town itself, unless your competition can beat you to it. And if the campaign isn't for you, or you've completed it already, you can choose a single game where you can adjust different parameters of the game, including how much oil is present, rocks that can block your drills, streams of magma, or pockets of gas that can be used to temporarily boost oil prices. The controls work pretty well on the Switch, even in handheld mode, with the D-pad selecting options at the top of the screen and the right stick moving a cursor about to plop down whatever you might be in need of. The way it works, though, would be more fitting for a mouse and keyboard setup. The visuals are a bit bland in this one, with the character portraits especially lacking any detail. The color palette is suitable for the game taking place in the 1800s, though, and while it's not head-turning in the presentation, I'm sure the developers were more concerned with the gameplay. Audio here is about the same with the slowly strumming guitar that any game taking place in this time period is basically required to have. Nothing special, but it does get the job done. Turmoil costs $15 American with a file size of 766 megabytes, though you can get this one cheaper elsewhere, which is often the case for Switch games. When I first started playing this game, I really liked the puzzle and strategy elements of it. Having to prospect land while keeping an eye on how well your competitors were doing was quite enjoyable and kept me invested, wondering what was coming next. Unfortunately though, what came next was just the same thing over and over again. When you first begin building up your town, you have a lot to consider purchasing to improve your drilling operation to maximize your profits. This however does not last, and it won't be long before you're just going through the motions in each level, and if you invested in the scanner and bribed one of the two companies to guarantee a buy price for oil, this really becomes a set it and forget it affair. At least you can hold down the Y button to speed up the game and gather oil more quickly, and as I said you can end the levels early if you want. I just wish there was a bit more to this. There is an expert mode which unlocks after you beat the normal campaign and ups the difficulty a little bit, giving characters unique bonuses, though I don't feel like this made the game that much harder or fun. 
To really enjoy and challenge yourself in this one, I think you basically have to handicap yourself, not investing in the more powerful equipment, or perhaps just playing one-off scenarios. The campaign is only about 5 hours long, but after you complete the first area, it doesn't really change much. I'm gonna go ahead and give Turmoil 5 oil drums out of 10. It comes out swinging, but fades pretty fast. If this looks fun to you, perhaps it might be worth grabbing deeply on sale, but otherwise you might want to go prospecting elsewhere. Thank you everyone for watching, and if you'd like to stay posted on new game reviews as I upload them, please click the subscribe button, as well as checking out the link in the description below for my Twitch channel, where I stream most days. I'll talk to you all later on.